Well, welcome to Onega High School on a Saturday morning. Phil Casper along with studio engineer Bernie Fancella and Rocky Downing in the North Gym of Onega High School. Rocky, it is that time of year again. It is the Twin Valley League Tournament, and this is day one. We'll have, uh, I think, four games today to start off game one, and you'll get things going in that North Gym for us. Yeah, we got the Clifton Clyde Lady Eagles will be uh, getting a call on here, and then you'll have live look-ins from the uh, South Gym. We're in the primary gym here at Odega. Clifton Clyde, I had a chance to talk with Coach Kyron Wirtz before the uh, game just a little while ago, and he's excited about his team. Very young, he said, but uh, they've got a 7-3 and three start on the season, had a winning record last year, so they've got things going in the way they want, and they're excited to see what they can do in the TVO this year. Well, it's pretty much the same thing over here in this gym. You've got an 8-9 and nine seed, Washington County. Uh, girls taking on Axel girls and these two teams that have have been pretty solid and in talking to uh, a few of the fans that are in the know that have seen every game they're looking forward to this they think this should be a pretty tight game yeah and the matchup over here for Clifton Clyde they take on a winless Onega team although you and I were sitting here in this gym earlier watching them warm up they've got good numbers out good size so well, maybe the schedule didn't stack up right for them, but uh, we'll see what they bring. Clifton Clyde, though, hoping to get through on the winner's side and have a chance at the quarterfinals, likely against Valley Heights, uh, should they win this ball game. Well, the winner of this will uh, advance and take on number one seed Frankfurt, and that is a very strong Frankfurt girls team. In fact, the girls' side really loaded, Rocky. You've got Frankfurt, <laughs> Centralia, and Hanover. Hanover comes in as a three seed, and then you've got Valley Heights, who knocked off Hanover, and they're a five seed, so... Uh, girls' side is loaded this year, so we'll see what happens as we get started with day one. Just a couple of minutes out from the start of our Saturday basketball PBL from Onega. We'll be back after these. Feed your livestock's potential with quality feed from Palmer Grain. They offer bag feed, manufactured feeds, or they can custom grind and mix feed, plus bulk feed delivery service is available. Palmer Grain can also help you in your fields with ag chemicals, fertilizer, and custom application. Stop by and learn about the multi-product prescription dry fertilizer application they have just added to their lineup. Call Palmer Grain at 1-800-441-9311 or check them out on Facebook. Miss Marie's Diner invites you to enjoy homestyle cooking in either of their restaurant locations in Clifton or in Clay Center. They're open seven days a week in Clifton, so stop in for breakfast or lunch. Then in Clay Center, they're open Monday through Saturday for lunch and supper. Both restaurants feature delicious specials along with a good variety of choices on the menu. To keep in touch and learn more about the daily specials at Miss Marie's Diner, check out their Facebook page. Then accept the invitation to Miss Marie's Diner. Barnes Automotive is the area's trusted diesel engine repair shop. Their team of qualified technicians have the knowledge and skill to get your diesel ag equipment, commercial trucks, industrial, and personal vehicles back in top performance. With a diesel mechanic specialist in your corner, you know you came to the right place for your diesel repair needs. And if you need tires, they have them too. For great customer service, partnered with exceptional quality diesel work called Barnes Automotive of Clifton and Vining at 455-3748. Show your Clifton Clyde school spirit with Caw Valley State Bank and their new spirit debit card. Visit any KBSB branch to open an account or upgrade your existing debit card. Spirit debit cards can be used anywhere Visa debit chip cards are accepted and work just like a check. There's no minimum balance and no monthly service fee. Plus, mobile banking, mobile deposit, online banking, online bill pay, and e-statements are all free. Caw Valley State Bank is here for you with more than 100 years of trusted service. And once again, we bring you back to Omega High School, side of the uh, TV alternative for 2018. The Clifton Clyde Lady Eagles about to face the Buffaloes of Omega, 0-8 Omega, 7-3 and Clifton Clyde as we get set to open up this uh, tournament here on a uh, Saturday. And then they will run through, of course, next Saturday to wrap up with uh, all the teams getting a chance to play throughout uh, the week and weekend. The setup is Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, the semifinals and the consolation brackets on the Thursday and Friday, and then Saturday, of course, championship Saturday to play out those consolation games early in the day and then move their way into uh, the championship in the evening. Clifton Clyde comes in uh, in the matchup, 7-3 and three on the season. The Lady Eagles in this matchup are the four seed. Onega, 13th seeded at 0-8 on the year. The winner of this one will get the winner of Valley Heights and Lynn. They will play at 1 o'clock this afternoon. 
over in the South Gym. They're just about ready to announce the starting lineup. Let's get you another break. We'll have tip-off coming your way. Give you your lineups and the tip right after the news. Wanklin Oil is proud to serve the community with propane, gas, and diesel fuel right to your home or farm. Family-owned and operated, they'll deliver your fuel with an old-fashioned personal touch. Their dependable quality service at the lowest price available makes them a leader in their field. In addition to propane and diesel, they also offer tank repair, sales, and service. For your fuel and heating needs, Wanklin Oil is just a call away. 800-794-2019. Serving you for 90 years, they have the energy. This is 100.9 FM, KCLY, Clay Center. Through product knowledge and prop-friendly customer service, Alexander Pump and Service of St. Mary's will surpass all your expectations. They offer a variety of services ranging from pump installation, water well rehabilitation, plus irrigation pump and drilling needs. You can count on them to repair and maintain your irrigation pumps and units. Alexander Pump and Service is family owned and operated, and they're looking forward to earning your business. Call 785-437-6305 for service in the KCLY listening area. There's oil sales, and then there's the Kramer Oil Big Oil Sale. Now through February 28th, get in on the savings when you buy mobile products by the pails and drums. Mobile is what most people trust to use when it comes to their heavy machinery and equipment. The Kramer Oil Big Oil Sale includes mobile Delvac 15W40 and mobile Fluid 424 in pails and drums. Call Kramer Oil in Marysville for prices. Offer good while supplies last. Maintain your equipment and help prolong the life of your vehicles and machinery with Kramer Oil. Here's the starting lineups for our first matchup of the day for the Onega Buffaloes. They can come in 0 and 8 on the season. They will start with uh, Chloe Fisher, a 5'7 freshman, 5'9 senior, going to Ames. Caitlin Van Dong is a 5'6 junior. Laura Crone, 5'10, a sophomore, and Katie Piggy. A 5'9 sophomore. Kitson Clyde, Lady Eagles are going to do their starting lineup, but right now we will have the national anthem. We'll pause here, bring you back in just a moment. If you're adding grain storage, you have a lot of options. You want the best value, but you also want the best built. It'd be nice to work with someone local, and you want a name brand that stands behind their product. Call the bin experts at D&K AgriSales, your Sucup dealer grain experts in Plymouth. Sucup bins are one of the best from their extra strong roofs right down to the highest grade bolts in the industry. Take advantage of winter discounts and get the best pricing of the year. Find out more about Sucup bins at dnkagrisales.com. Third Thursdays in downtown Clay Center take on a different feel from everyday shopping. In addition to the friendly small town charm, you'll discover a different vibe. A warm, inviting, and fun atmosphere where everyone lives in the moment. The Clay Center Business Association welcomes you to this month's third Thursday event, January 18th. Heat it up with a fun shopping experience from 4 to 7 p.m. at local CCBA merchants showcasing new products and services. Enjoy yourself every third Thursday, downtown Clay Center. As a third-generation seed company, Oldy Seed has pioneered the development of soil-specific hybrids that thrive in your soils. Our know to grow research program is the largest in the Midwest and utilizes advanced technologies including Enlist, Extend, and Liberty Link soybeans. Oldie's research program delivers top yields while helping you win the war on resistant weeds. This season, don't settle for anything less than a soil-specific seed from Oldie Seed. When it's freezing outside, but you still need to get your medications, Patterson Health Mart Pharmacy makes it easy for you with their drive through apothecary. Located right by the hospital in Clay Center, there's no need to get out of your car any more than you have to. Just swing by Patterson's Apothecary to get your prescription filled, then you're on your way. Professional service, friendly faces, and a convenient location. Patterson Health Mart Pharmacy is looking out for you and your health. And again, back at Onega, the opening tip-off is underway in Clifton Clyde controls that tip. J.C. Bowser, the 5'5 sophomore outside, 5'6 sophomore, Peyton Gerard, Adria Gerard, a 5'5 sophomore, Emily Kaufman, 5'9 senior, and the freshman at 5'8, Mallory Callahan for the Lady Eagles of Clifton Clyde. They have the basketball to start, baseline right, ball fake, step in, Adria Gerard for two, rattles off, rebound tipped around inside, Kaufman keeps it alive, now Tips it outside, and it's picked up by Gerard, and Clifton Clyde will keep the basketball. Just the opening possession, so an offensive board gives Clifton Clyde a second look. Here's a three-pointer out top from Bowser, just rimming out. Inside, Mallory Callahan got the offensive board, but 
was called for traveling on her way back up with the shot. So it'll be Onega's first possession. Here comes Cook to climb with the full court pressure. Lady Eagles had a couple shots on their first offensive possession, unable to connect. Now it's pressure in the backcourt. Onega does bring it across in the hands of Chloe Fisher. Double team immediately out top. Near steal by Peyton Gerard. Dribble drive now taken inside by Belinda Ames. A shot is an air ball short. Rebound, though, saved in by Onega. But then stepping out of bounds, trying to retrieve the save in. It goes back to Clifton Clyde. The Lady Eagles will have it. No score as of yet. Just underway about a minute into this opening quarter. As the Lady Eagles bring it across, J.C. Bowser, the point guard, goes right baseline. Drive inside. Gerard pulls the jumper and rattles it in. Peyton Gerard with her first bucket and Clifton Clyde out to a 2 nothing start. Now they get to set up that full court pressure. Iron Works, head coach for Clifton Clyde, saying a lot of their offense comes from defense and forcing turnovers. Trying to do that right now. Omega does break it down, but now they do force the turnover. As a traveling call on Chloe Fisher, the 5-7 freshman, got it to the lane, had a chance to dish it off, but uh, took a step before she could get rid of the basketball. Lady Eagles with the possession. They lead 2 nothing. Right side wing with it is Peyton Gerard. Baseline right, Bowser back out deep. Here's a three ball try at the point, taken up and just strong by Emily Kaufman. Battle to the board inside. Callahan kept it alive, but it's going to be Onega who comes out of there with it. Belinda Ames brings it across with the dribble. And her pass to the right wing is going to be overthrown to Caitlin Van Dong and out of bounds. Clifton Clyde has it back. Lady Eagles lead it 2 nothing. Julia Douglas in for the Lady Eagles. 5-3 freshman steps into the lab, so it's Douglas, Peyton Gerard, along with Mallory Callahan, Emily Kaufman on the floor right now for Clifton Clyde. Baseline right. It is Douglas out top. Dribble drive by Kaufman. Gives it off to Callahan. Shot from 10, just off the mark. Strong. Rebounded to the weak side, Belinda Ames. Double team down quarter. Omega does get it across the timeline. 5.45 remains in this opening quarter. We'll check in with Flip Casper in the other gym when we... Uh, have a chance to do so. They should be underway in their matchup. Now, a tip away by Kaufman out of bounds will stay with Onega on the baseline. That first game over in the South Gym, featuring, of course, Axel against Washington County. Five and a half to go. First quarter here. Clifton Clyde leads it 2 0. Zone defense and a half court set. Right baseline, it goes down low to Laura Crone. Now to the post, taken away by Kaufman. Ball to the ground, though. Ball taken away now by Onega, then tied up by Julia Douglas of the Lady Eagles. The arrow belongs to Onega. They'll keep it on the sideline. Checking in now for the Clifton Clyde Lady Eagles, J.C. Bowser, 5-5 sophomore. Twin Valley League tournament coverage on KCOY is brought to you by Winkland Oil Company, Clay Center Business Association, D&K Agri-Sales, and Alexander Pump and Services Incorporated of St. Mary's and Kramer Oil. Outside with it is Onega, free throw line jumper, Belinda Ames. Now she dumps it down low and throws it away. And Clifton Clyde has it back again. 2 nothing lead for the Lady Eagles here. Down court for Clifton Clyde is Emily Kaufman, along with Julia Douglas. Adria Gerard bringing it across is J.C. Bowser. And now to Peyton Gerard. Right side wing deep, Bowser beyond the arc. Out top it comes to Douglas. She'll ball fake, dribble left. Now backs it out with offense two. Gerard, corner right, Bowser open from 15 and buries it 4 nothing now. The lead for the Clifton Clyde Lady Eagles as J.C. Bowser has her first bucket, the 5-5 sophomore. 4 nothing start, Clifton Clyde the lead. Pass up the four for Onega. And Clifton Clyde takes it away, Bowser the steal. J.C. Bowser across the timeline, two on three numbers, takes it right side all the way to the window. Ball fake, kick out just inside the arc, two-pointer on its way. And buried by Adria Gerard. Clifton Clyde's had some struggles shooting the ball from the perimeter this season, but today getting a really good start. Couple of buckets from outside. Now another steal. Bowser teaming up with Gerard, double teaming, and now a foul reaching in late as the ball came loose. It was Adria Gerard and J.C. Bowser had the double team near steal, and then the ball came loose, and Peyton Gerard going to be on Adria Gerard. Actually, her first foul. First team foul is on either team. Ports in to work first quarter. Opening game of the Twin Valley League Tournament here on Key Steel Wide. Double team in the backcourt. Comes across now. Near steal by Kaufman. Double team out near the timeline. 
And we've got a timeout taken by Onega. Gives us a chance to send it over to the other gym with Luke Casper, a check-in on the TBL. All right, Rock, thanks. Now a quick turnover by Axel. They have jumped out to a 7-4 lead. It was 4-4 four, four for about two minutes. And then uh, a three by Kenzie Feldkamp of Axel puts the Lady Eagles up 7-4. There is four and a half minutes left in the first. Axel leading Washington County 7-4. All right, look, we appreciate it. We'll continue to keep you posted on uh, that game. 6 nothing here at Clifton Clive. The quick start, two points each for J.C. Bowser, Peyton Girard, and Adrian Girard. Defense has been uh, the answer for Clifton Clyde, and that was their plan coming in, pressure, 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 and they've been able to force several turnovers. They haven't had a lot of steals, per se. They have had a couple, but it's been the turnovers force that has uh, allowed them to uh, get up 6 nothing here early. 3.50 to work, opening quarter. There's a dump down low, tipped by Kaufman. Now the steal taken away by Adria Gerard. Correction, Peyton Gerard with the uh, steal down low on the block. Right side wing, Douglas. Dribble penetrates to the corner, backs it out with the dribble now. Will skip pass it across to Adria Gerard. Now to Peyton. She'll dribble to the right baseline block. Kick out in the corner, Douglas for three. Yes! Julia Douglas knocks down the three-pointer in the right baseline. And it's a 9 nothing start, Clifton Clyde. Right sideline, backcourt with it is Laura Crone, and now she'll get it across with a pass to Chloe Fisher. Fisher back to Crone, and now on top it goes to Ames. Ball fake and drive, Ames, mid lane, leaner up and good. Tough shot, Ames gets it in. The first points of the game for Onega with 3.07 to work in the opening quarter. 9-2, Clifton Clyde leads it. Gerard, drive, kick out, Douglas hit a three last time, well beyond the arc this trip. Now it's going to be... Gerard left wing for three, missing, strong, rebound kept alive, and then stayed back by Onega, but out of bounds off their own teammate. And so Clifton Clyde will keep possession. Macy Callahan in for the Lady Eagles, a 5'8 junior, will give Douglas a breather. It'll be Adria Gerard to inbound from the baseline. They go baseline right to Peyton Gerard, 15 footer, just strong, rebound, weak side comes away to Crone. Omega with possession, 244 to work, opening quarter. Ames, another drive to the lane, and a charging foul taken by Peyton Gerard. Hung in there and took the punishment from the drive of Ames, and the basically a turnover on Omega with the offensive charge foul. Big play by Peyton Gerard inside to stand in transition and take that charge, and Clifton Clyde has possession back. Bowser quickly down the court, right wing. Coffin left alone for three, thought about it, now does trigger it. Ty Archer's just short. And the rebound off the front rim comes away to Onega's Fisher. Now it's Ames who brings it across. Belinda Ames fires left side, nearly threw it away. It's picked up by Crone. It's Rebecca Crone. 220 to work. Bowser, good pressure. Now the steal by Kaufman. Tripped up as she came out of the pack and lost it out of bounds. And it goes back to Onega. 216 to work opening quarter. 9 2 here. It will be possession on the sideline to Van Dong of Onega. Ames to the free throw line. Wrap around pass inside the paint. Strip away by Kaufman, but a reach and foul called against the Lady Eagles. It's their second foul. It'll be Omega's possession on the baseline. Caitlin Van Dong will inbound it. Clifton Clyde will. The first foul on Kaufman, by the way. Clifton Clyde will bring in Hannah Kendall now, as Kaufman will come out for a breather. So Kendall and Callahan, Macy Callahan down inside. It's Macy with a steal. Good outlet pass. Bowser racing down the floor, laying with contact. Won't get the bucket. Does get the foul. And Macy Bowser headed to the free throw strike. Macy Callahan got the ball inside. Just had a great outlet pass up the floor, hitting Bowser on the move. And racing down to stop with Ames, who picked up her second foul. Two free throws for Bowser. First cherry on its way, and good. She has three points early. As Clifton Clyde leads it now 10 to 2. The foul on Belinda Ames again, her second. She will come out. 5 9 senior leader for this team. Fouls are on the strike for Clifton Clyde. Made the first and buries the second. She has four. 11 to 2. Clifton Clyde by 9. 204 to work. First quarter play. With it in the backcourt, again, against the full-court pressure of Clifton Clyde Omega, and may have gotten away with the travel. Still in the backcourt, they need to break the timeline. They finally do with Fisher. Bowser out on her. Tip pass by Bowser, picked up on the near side by Van Dong. Packet goes to Owens. To Fisher. 
Straddling the arc for two. No. Rebound. Two Eagles in position. The board is brought down by Macy Callahan. Bowser now has it across the timeline. Lipton Clyde by nine with the basketball. A minute 45 to work. First quarter of play. Gerard goes right to Bowser. Entry pass on the bounce down inside the lane, and it's Mallory Callahan called for traveling. She wanted to turn and go, and as she turned, the defender was right on her left shoulder, and when she tried to come back and pivot, she ended up uh, pivoting the wrong foot, so it's back to Onegan again, full court pressure. Fisher in the backcourt, three defenders around her, double team on her. Now they kick it across in the backcourt, Onega still in the backcourt, and a 10-second violation. They forced the turnover. They were near it the last time. They do force the 10-second call this trip, and Clifton Clyde gets it back right at the midcourt stretch. Peyton Gerard brings it in to J.C. Bowser, looks at a 2-3, Onega's own defense. Left wing, Gerard to the free throw line, pulls up with a jumper from 10, just strong. Rebound comes off to Onega. Rebecca Crone the board, and Gerard called for the foul, trying to go in after that offensive rebound. A minute 16 to go, first quarter, 11-2, Clifton Clyde leads by 9. Onega again against the small court pressure, 10-second violation last time. Good double team in the backcourt. Now still in the backcourt deep is Owens. Near the timeline, they are really close to 10. They get it down the court now, though. And a drive inside, wild shot, no good. Stick back misses, rebound comes off to Mallory Callahan. The freshman gets rid of it to Bowser. Under a minute to go, first quarter. Clifton Clyde leads by 9, 11-2. And now a timeout taken by Coach Wurtz for the Lady Eagles. We'll send it over with a check-in with Bill Casper. All right, thanks, Rock. Our last check-in, it was I told you it was a 4-4 tie for a long time. Axel had gone up 7-4. They have gone on a 16-0 run with a minute and a half left in the first. Axel leading Washington County 20-4. Wow. 16 nothing run here at a nine-point lead for Clifton Clyde. 50 seconds left in this opening quarter. We'll continue to keep you up to date on both gyms throughout uh, the week of TVL coverage here on PCOY. Of course, on Tuesday, Friday, Saturday next week, we'll throw in coverage of the Hillsboro Invitational for the Tigers and Lady Tigers of Clay Center. Lifton Clyde with a basketball. It will be Peyton Gerard inbound. Far sideline away from the two benches as we sit up top on the home side of the Onega Buffalo gym. Here's Lady Eagle Peyton Gerard. Good ball, pick and drive, kick out Kaufman. Two-pointer on its way, strong. Long rebound, though, tracked down by Kaufman. 37 to work. Lady Eagles lead it 11 to 2. Free throw line, Kaufman back outside Gerard. Dribble drives, good screen by Callahan and low. Now back out to Kaufman. Kaufman, trouble handling it as she was trying to kick it across to Douglas and called for the travel as she uh, had it slip out of her hands when she grabbed it back and taken a step. Onega will have it. Three quarters of the floor to cover. In the backcourt, pressure still from Clifton Clyde. They bring it every possession. Onega still in the backcourt. Crone. Back it comes now to Van Dong, and they are nearing a 10-second violation again. They do get it across. Now near backcourt violation, double team, fired down to Fisher with 10. Fisher outside, left side, tip pass by Kaufman, picked back out deep, five seconds to work. Onega trying to get a shot away. They may not. One second on the clock. They don't realize it, and that will end the quarter. And it's Clifton Clyde who leads it 11-2. to two. We'll get a timeout in and then check back in with Bill Casper right after this 30-second break. Take action now for a successful crop next year. At Wilbur Ellis and Reed C. We're ready to help you plan for next season feed control, moisture conservation, and fertilizer needs. For your plan, we'll utilize soil testing and variable seeding rates to come up with site-specific fertilizer and seed systems. Now is a good time to establish your fertilizer and chemical program for productive crops in 2018. Wilbur Ellis and Reed C. It's an 11 2 ball game here. Clifton Clyde the lead. Flip, give us a score over with the uh, matchup within your gym. Well, Rock, Washington County finally able to put some points on the board. Axel made a rare error and a foul, and it's 22 to 6. We're just under a minute. Axel has the basketball, and now Axel with a couple unforced errors turn over back to Washington County. Axel 22, Washington County 6, 59 seconds left in the first. Here at the quarter break, it is Clifton Clyde leading 11-2. to The Lady Eagles led by J.C. Bowser's four points. A three-pointer from Julia Douglas and two each from Peyton Gerard and Adriat Gerard. The only bucket scored for Onega is uh, Belinda Ames with that driving field goal in the paint. Clifton Clyde will open with the basketball to begin the second period up by nine. 
A.C. Bowser lets on the wing to Adria Gerard. Ball fakes it right, then left, and kicks it out to Coffin. Around right to Peyton Gerard. Dribble drive. Kick to the corner. Bowser for three. Just rimming out. Rebound Kaufman. Big board inside. They're going to call a foul on a bump in low as Kaufman with their palms in the air and a smile on her face. Coach Worth saying, what did I do? But it is her second foul. So the senior with her second. This is the team's fourth. Two whistled thus far against Omega. Ames back in for the Buffaloes with two fouls. The senior drives, kicks out right wing. Van Dong with it. Now back to Ames and a strip away by Bowser, but a reach and foul. Now their team's fifth against the Lady Eagles, just underway in the second quarter. It will be Douglas back in for Clifton Klein, and it'll give Coffin a break because that second foul just picked up. The foul on Bowser, her first. Onega from the baseline. Gerard near steal. Adria Gerard got a hand on it, just couldn't save it back in. It will stay with the Buffaloes on the baseline. Second quarter action, 11-2. Clifton Clyde leads by nine. Now the pass on the inbounds gets away for a moment. Ames runs it down. Left corner with it. Now picks up her dribble. Out deep it comes to Fisher. Fisher to the free throw stripe. Kick out right wing. Van Dong to the corner right. Biggie with it. And now we've got a jump ball. The arrow does belong to Onega. 11-2. Clifton Clyde leads it by nine. From the baseline, Buffalo is the same position, left to the glass. And now near steal. Douglas may have forced a turnover, and she did. Douglas didn't get the steal, but she stripped it away off of Onega and out of bounds. By the way, they've gone to the end of the first in the South Gym. Axel leading 22-8. to eight. Axel leads 22-8 to eight over Washington County in an 8-9 matchup. Douglas with it, left side for Gerard. Adria, ball fake and drive. It called for steps on the ball fake. And so Clifton Clyde turns it over, 11-2. to two. Lady Eagles lead it by nine. Second quarter action. Buffaloes in the backcourt with it. Around it comes and across. Right side with it is to the baseline now. It's going to be Crone inside the lane. Pull-up jumper, good by Laura Crone. Her first bucket, 11-4. to four. 6.39 to work in his first half. Seven-point ball game. Right side wing with it is Douglas. Out deep, Gerard to Adria Gerard. Baseline left. They'll lob it back out deep. And now around right, Douglas between the circles. Left on the wing is J.C. Bowser. Peyton Gerard, dribble drive, kick to Douglas. Hit a three earlier. They cover up this time, though. Now out top for Adria Gerard to Bowser. Left on the wing. Ball fake, kicks it back out deep. Stepping in, Gerard thought about it. Now Douglas also thought about a three, but passes it up. 6.05 to work. Baseline wing right, Bowser back out deep. Gerard for three, strong. Rebound tipped inside, and they'll get Peyton Gerard for a foul down inside the lane. Onega's possession, 11 4 ball game. It will be the Lady Eagles, or Onega's possession, the Lady Eagles uh, bringing back in Emily Coffin. So it's Kaufman, Peyton Gerard, Adria Gerard, Bowser, and Douglas on the floor for Clifton Clive. They lead it 11 to 4. Basketball in the backcourt comes across with Ames. Tip away by Kaufman. Ames in the backcourt now brings it across. Jump pass right and deep goes to Van Dong. Now the pass in the lane taken away by Bowser. A race to the other end. J.C. Bowser hangs in the air and drops it in on six now. The steal and the take coast to coast. And it's 13-4. Clifton Clyde leading by nine. Onega nearly traveled in the backcourt. A little three-quarter court pressure now by the Eagles. 1-3-1 one, one, it looks like. Getting a trap near the timeline. Ames dribble drive. Kicks it down low. Shot is up. Missing, but a foul called against Clifton Clyde. It'll be a free throw opportunity coming for Katie Figgy. Nine-point Lady Eagle lead. The foul on Adria Gerard is her second of the game. Team's seventh. Only two whistle against Omega thus far. The free throw strike. Missing is Figgy, the 5'9 sophomore. Lady Eagles lead it by nine. Again, at the quarter break, it was Axtell up big in their matchup. 22-8. to eight. Here's a rebound on the missed free throw by Coffin. Gets bumped to the ground. No foul called. And it's Omega who has it. Ames kick out right wing and deep. Van Dong kicks it left. Fisher for two. Yes. Chloe Fisher has her first field goal. 
Both been Clyde back with the basketball. Their lead is seven. Right side deep. Ball fake. Looking low. Gerard to Peyton. Back to Adria Gerard. Again, ball fake. Steps in. 15 footer. Splash. Adria Gerard has four now. Five five sophomore puts Clifton Clyde back up by nine. Ames in the backcourt for Onega. In Clifton Clyde and a timeout taken by the Buffalo sideline. We'll take you over to the South Gym with Bill Casper here. It's 15 6. Clifton Clyde, a nine point lead. Well, not a great start for Washington County coming out of that quarter, ba- quarter break. They trailed 22 8. They did get on a little run, but then. A couple of uh, errors by the Tigers put Axel right back up on top. 26-12. There's five and a half minutes. There is a bucket from Washington County. Andrea Bruna, her first two. 26-14. Axel leading Washington County. And back here for uh, 15-6. It is Clifton Clyde by nine. Let's get a 30-second timeout. Back in a moment. When you grow corn or soybeans for a living, you're always looking for the latest advances to help your fields be more profitable. That's why it's time to turn to Channel. When you plant elite Channel Seed products, you also get the services of your very own Channel Seedsman. You see, your Seedman works with you year-round to make the most of your operation. For customized service, expert advice, and elite seed products, contact Colton with Frontier Ag Supply, 785-630-0596. 15-6 ball game. It's Clifton Clyde the lead by nine. Onega does have the basketball near the scorer's table. And after the 1-3-1 that's implemented by Coach Wirtz and the Lady Eagles on the floor, a little half-court trap, it was a timeout by Onega. Now a near turnover. It will be a turnover. They got a call that steps against Belinda Ames. Kaufman out defending. Nine-point ball game. It'll be Clifton Clyde with possession. J.C. Bowser walks it through the big O in the middle of the Onega. Mid-court, right baseline, Adria Gerard back outside to Douglas, to Peyton Gerard around left baseline, Bowser, looked at a three, doesn't take it, now they bounce past it in low, Kaufman tries to dribble it inside, kick to the corner, Douglas runs it down, back out to the free throw stripe, Gerard, ball fake, steps in, takes the shot, strong, rebound tipped by Gerard, picked up though by Fisher of Onega, then taken away by Bowser, inside to Kaufman, and it's stripped away out of bounds to Clifton Clyde on the baseline, J.C. Bowser, Quick hands, quick feet, and she has uh, caused all kinds of problems for Onega already. 15-6 ball game, midway point, second quarter. Eagles bring it into Bowser, left corner. Back out deep for Douglas. Julia Douglas around right. Here's a dribble drive by Peyton Gerard. Kick to the top of the key, Douglas. Left wing is Bowser, and she'll take the open jumper. It's strong. Rebound weak side. Kaufman goes to the ground. Belinda Ames comes out of the pack with it. Onega, and she loses it out of bounds. Good defense by Adria Gerard over on the sideline. 15-6. 3.46 remains first half. Madison Bersher will come in for Onega. First time in the ball game. It is J.C. Bowser brings it across for Clifton Clyde. Again, they lead by nine. Corner right. Out top it comes from Adria Gerard, Gerard to Peyton Gerard, and then back to Adria. Now to Julia Douglas around left to Bowser. Coffin trying to post inside. Out top it comes to Gerard. That's Adria. Dribble drive and bumps. No bonus yet for Clifton Clyde. Just the third team foul on Onega. 15-6. It'll be underneath the basket for the Lady Eagles. Checking in for the Eagles is Macy Callahan. So Callahan back in. Kaufman gets a breather. Inbounding, Gerard from the baseline. In the corner, Bowser, they lob it inside. Callahan shot up and off the glass, just short. Rebound comes away to Hersher of Onega. 319 to work first half. It's 15-6. Fisher, left side wing, two-pointer. is a foul called against the Eagles, and it'll be two free throws coming now for Onega. Chloe Fisher has two points in the game. A 5-7 freshman will get opportunity here to step to the stripe. 15-6 ball game. Free throw up and free throw in for Busher. Rebecca Crone back in for Omega. And also uh, Mallory Callahan, the freshman for Clifton Clyde back on the floor. Eight-point ball game, 15-7. Free throw line is Fisher made the first and makes both. She has four points now. 
And it cuts the lead to seven. Clifton Clyde does have possession back, 313 to work. Skip pass, Bowser left and deep to Douglas, out to Gerard. It's Adria Gerard, good screen from Callahan. Back to Gerard it comes. Around left to Douglas, a good look for three. She hit her first one. Strong here, rebound though, weak side. Back up, can't get it. Again, it's back up for Callahan. Block, she gets it one more time and knocked to the ground. She'll hit the free throw strike. It is two free throw opportunities coming for Macy Callahan. She and Mallory doing a great job inside offensively on the rebound. Unable to cash it back in, but they eventually get the foul called and will step for the strike to shoot two. First free throw is strong. Eagles two of three from the strike in the first half. Onega three of six from the line. 254 remains. It's 15 8. Clifton Clyde, the lead of seven. Second free throw from Macy Callahan. This one slashes in. She has her first point of the day. And the lead is back to eight. Now the full court pressure off the made free throw. Double team on eight. Van Dong up the floor. Bursher. And she is double teamed. Taken away now by Callahan. The Bowser drives the lane. Nothing there. Now she's called for traveling as she ran into Van Dong. And the defense able to force her into steps. Onega's possession. 16-8. It will be prone back in for the Buffaloes. Again, the full court pressure coming from Clifton Clyde. Double team in the backcourt on Ames to Crone. Around right to Van Dong. Back to Crone. Still deep in the backcourt. Now Ames will dribble across, breaking the thin count. Now to the lane. All the way to the paint. Draws the ball, and she's hit it to the free throw line. Belinda Ames able to break it down with the dribble. 233 remains in this first half of play. It is Clifton Clyde with a lead of 16-8. to eight. We'll check back in again with Bill when we get a chance. Axtell and Washington County. Axtell had gotten out to a Big lead at the end of one quarter, so when we have the opportunity, we'll send it over there. Emily Coffin back in for the Eagles. Out will come Mallory Callahan. She just picked up her first foul. Games at the strike missing. We've got a lane violation anyway against the shooter. So the score stays 16 to 8. 233 remaining. JC Bowser will bring it up for the Lady Eagles. Eight point ball game. Lady Eagles look at a 2 3 zone. Right corner, Coffin. Good ball, fake and drive. Gets inside the lane. Underneath the basket. Wrap around pass. Peyton Gerard, two pointer, no. Rebound comes off to Ames. Good look by Coffin. And Gerard had a good release. It just came off the back iron and wouldn't drop down. Ames defended by Bowser out deep. Right on the wing, beyond the arc is Van Dong. Does not want to take a shot. Right baseline, Chrome. Dribble drives, cut off by Callahan. Shot is strong. Weak side rebound, Coffin. Just the 15th foul against Onega, so Clifton Clyde gets the basketball back three position by the senior on the weak side, Emily Coffin, for the defensive rebound. 2.05 remains, second quarter. Bailey Bowser brings it across for the Lady Eagles. Left and deep, it goes to Adria Gerard. Now to Payton. Back left to Adria. Ball fake, steps toward the paint, out top Coffin. She'll swing it right with the dribble to Bowser now in the pass. Out top, Gerard. Adria, left side, Payton Gerard. Back to Adria. Around right, it comes to Bowser. Back up top. Now they'll move it left with the dribble and kick out to Peyton Gerard for three. Just strong. Rebound weak side comes away to Crone, Rebecca Crone of Onega. A minute 30 to work. We're in the first half. Clifton and Clyde leading here, 16-8. Onega, look down low, take it away by Kaufman, the senior with the steal. And now up the board comes to Adria Gerard. Crossover move, free throw line. Kicks it baseline left. Bowser's got a good look for two. Just strong, weak side rebound. Kaufman keeps it alive, then steps back with the shot and the foul, and she'll get to the free throw stripe to shoot two. Kaufman hit the score, but last three trips, she has been really active. The defensive board, the next time down a steal, this time an offensive rebound, and on the stick back try was bumped, and she'll get to the free throw line here to shoot two. 5'9 seniors, first free throw is rattling in her first point of the game. And Clifton Clyde now leads it 17-8 to with a minute 13 to work in this first half. One more free throw coming. Both teams will be in the bonus from here on out. That was the sixth-team foul on Onega. Coffin misses on the second free throw. Long rebound. Tracked down by Fisher. Now quickly in a double team, Peyton Gerard and Emily Coffin. Now Fisher gets out of that and brings it across the timeline. 
Left and deep. Double team comes at her. She'll step through with a pass. Van Dong, free throw line, kick out right wing to Crone. Under a minute to go, first half. Near steal by Gerard. Kick out on the sideline right. Crone with the dribble. Takes it just inside the arc. Now gives it off to Van Dong in the lane. Pivots once, pivots twice. Now the kick out, left wing, to the baseline left. Dribble drive by Crone, strip away by Callahan. She picks it back up, does Crone. Now it's Bowser intercepting the pass, tipped, and then picked up by Coffin. Back to Bowser, looking bottom of the move. They lead of 17-8. to eight. 32 seconds left in this first half. Peyton Gerard and a kick out from Coffin. Now it goes out deep. Bowser beyond the arc. Kicks it left baseline. Peyton Gerard, two ball, good look. No, rebound. Coffin again. Sick back bucket is good for the senior. She now has three, and Clifton Clyde's lead grows to 11, 17-8. And again, full court pressure, 10 seconds to work. In the backcourt with it is Crone. Down to seven, still in the backcourt. Now Van Dong, double team. In front, taken with 2.2 seconds left by Omega. It will be a full timeout. Look, Casper, let's check in with the Axel washington County matchup. All right, Rock, we've just about caught you. We're at about 45 seconds here. Washington County with a score. Nice bucket from Lauren Wyatt, her first two. 45 seconds left. It is 37-26, Axel leading Washington County. All right, Flip, thanks. Let's take a break here. We'll be back with more of the Clifton Clyde Lady Eagles first half about to finish up 2.2 seconds per day. Angus Beef is known for superior taste in the certified Angus brand at Ray's Apple Market. Meets 10 exacting standards for marbling, tenderness, juiciness, and flavor. Take the confusion out of buying beef by looking for the certified Angus Beef label at Ray's Apple Market and get exceptional flavor every time. Here at Ray's, it is our passion to give you, our customer, a pleasant, time-saving shopping experience while providing exceptional products at value prices with uncommon customer service. Thank you from our family to yours. Shop small, shop local. Flipton Clyde leads at 19-8. to eight. They're about to go to halftime also in the South Gym where Flip is at. It's 19-8 uh, here at Clifton Clyde. Omega does have the basketball. Two seconds, they'll just inbound and hold on to the basketball after the timeout. Headed to halftime here. Flip, you headed to halftime there? Headed to halftime here as well. 37-26. Axel leads Washington County. All right, 11-point game in one gym. 11-point game here, 19-8. It's Clifton Clyde with the lead over Onega. Let's take a halftime timeout back in a moment. A message from Geisler Roofing and Home Improvement in Concordia. Is your home properly insulated to keep the cold outside and keep your energy bills affordable? Geisler Roofing offers several insulation solutions, including spray foam, rolled, and blown-in insulation. Learn more at GeislerRoofing.com. This is Dallas Hasselbank, and Geisler Roofing and Home Improvement has you covered with more than 37 years' experience. Here's a tech tip from Blue Valley Telecommunications. Do you know what bandwidth is? Or megabytes? Bandwidth is the amount of information your internet connection can move. It's described in megabytes or megs. How much bandwidth you need depends upon how many devices you have and what you're going to use your internet for. Your bandwidth speed is split when it enters into your house. If you have only a 5 meg connection with 5 users, each user could end up getting only 1 meg, which can cause things to load really slowly. If you have questions about your speed, give us a call. 877-876-1228. Whether you're buying, building, remodeling, or refinancing, your home is a major investment in your life. At United Bank & Trust, we understand how important it is to work with someone who cares. Our loan officers have the experience it takes to make the process a smooth one. Come in for a visit or start online by filling out a loan application at ubankonline.com in as little as 20 minutes. Mortgage lending with United Bank & Trust. It's banking for your way of life. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. The Cooperative Spirit Drive, Central Valley and Energy League, Payne Field, and it helps everyone work together. I like how the cooperative is scary balance everybody else in the community to work towards the same goal. Elevator Superintendent Tony Krause sees it and everyone involved in the cooperative. I see people that are genuine, honest, uplifting, caring. Location managers like Doug Eisenmaker lead their team to the Cooperative Spirit. It's not what I can do, it's not what you can do, but it's what we can do together. You and Central Valley and agriculture together. Opening day of the Twin Valley League Championship Series, the Clifton Clyde Lady Eagles in the main gym here at Omega. The North Gym leads it by 11, 19-8. Axtell leading Washington County 37-26. Cliff, it looked like your game when Axtell went on that run might get a little out of hand. Washington County made a move. 
Well, they did make a move, and, and it really did start to get out of hand. It was 4-4 four, four for a couple of minutes, and then a 16-0 axle run, and uh, it was really getting away from Washington County, but they started to make it interesting. 22-8 at halftime, 37-26 right now. You know, if you, thanks to Grace Grace Otot, she's got 10 points for Washington County, hitting really well. They are, are uh, they are three three of five, or two of five, rather, from the three-point line. Holly DeLay has one. Tess Chetchley has the other, but just too much axle. They full core press. They want to run the ball every time, and they do it, and they don't miss a lot of shots. 13 points from Trisha Matthews, been 11 from Hannah Smith, and really, uh, I really wish I was keeping a shot chart here. <laughs> axle is shooting a very high percentage from the floor. Yeah, sounds like it, and uh, after both teams kind of struggling to score for a while, 4-4, four to four, uh, things have heated up in uh, in that gym here. Really a low-scoring affair. Clips and Clyde has caused Onega all kinds of problems with the pressure, kind of like, like what Axel's trying to do, get out pressure, get out and run. Uh, but they've had trouble converting when they did get out and get to the rim or get into the lane. They've had some good looks. They just haven't been able to put in. They do lead it by 11, 19-8 over a winless Omega team. Clips and Clyde coming in at 7-3. and three. Halftime break is here. We'll come back, look at your scoring leaders from both gyms. Again, 11-point games, Axel leading Washington County, Clifton Clyde leading Onega. Stay with us. More TVL coverage continues on TCOY. Did you know TSI Kansas and Clay Center has a full-service diesel repair shop located at 612 West Court Street? Our knowledgeable mechanics are here to take care of your maintenance and repair needs, big or small, engines to lights. We have an extensive parts network at our fingertips. Bring us your truck or trailer and leave knowing it is in good hands. Call us at 785-632-5183 to set an appointment now. TSI Kansas and Clay Center is your hometown diesel repair shop. We are here for you. Wallace Tree Value has a coupon sale going on until January 30th, so stop in and save on a multitude of items like storage containers, light bulbs, and cleaning supplies. You can get surf suppressor outlets just for $6.99, electrical tape for 50 cents, paint supplies, and wall repair items like backlink, cutting knives, stocking, drop costs, and paper towels. If you didn't get a copy of our sale, stop in and grab one and save some money on items you need at Wallace Tree Value. Beautiful downtown Clay Center, open seven days a week for you. Place your order now for next spring's crops and save a bundle. Count on Crop Production Services of Clay Center for the best quality corn and soybean seed. Their proven brands include Decal, Asgrow, Dynagrow, Producers Hybrids, and LG. If you order now, you can take advantage of early cash and volume discounts, and they also have financing available. The agronomists at CPS stay current on the ever-changing field of seed technology, so they can provide well-informed advice to help increase your productivity. Did your family get some new toys for Christmas that require internet connection? Is your internet speed slowing down to a crawl? Now's the time to accelerate your home's internet speed with Pulse Internet from Twin Valley. Choose between the ability to download and upload 100 megabits per second or up to a gig. Visit the Twin Valley office in Clay Center or Miltonvale to find out if Pulse Internet is available where you live. Lead when it comes to speed with Twin Valley. Call 800-515-3311. Again, back at halftime, both gyms at a halftime break right now. I'll give you a look at the scoring leaders in this one, then we'll send it over uh, for Flip to update you on uh, Axel of Washington County. Clifton Clyde leading 19-8 at the halftime break. Onega has been led in the first half. Four points from Chloe Fisher, Belinda Ames, Lauren Crone, and the Mad- or with two points each, and then uh, Madison Busher with one free throw in that first half of play. For the Lady Eagles, it's been six from J.C. Bowser, two of two at the stripe, two field goals, four points from Adria Gerard. They get a three-pointer from Julia Douglas, the only three hit from either team. Three points from Emily Kaufman. Macy Callahan had one free throw. Peyton Gerard with two points in the first half. And again, that adds up to a 19-8 Clifton Clyde lead over Onega. Flip some uh, numbers from your game. Yeah, we'll give you some score, uh, look at scoring from this game as well. Again, it's a 37 26 Axel lead. Four Axel, they're led by Trisha Matthewson. The six foot senior has 13 points, 11 from uh, Hannah Schmidt, the 5'8 junior, and then six from Emmy Dieters. Uh, she's a 5'10 junior, and then three each from Kinsey Feldkamp and Myrna Bur- uh, Busing. For Washington County, they're led by Grace Otot. She shot the ball pretty well, but again, a lot of uh, forced and unforced errors. By Washington County has cost them, and then five each from Holly Delay and Tess Ketchley, two apiece from Lauren Wyatt, Andrea Bruna, and Cameron Boykin, the five-six 
freshman for Washington County. We're just about three minutes out here from second half action. Axel leading Washington County 37-26 at halftime. 19-8 over here. We'll take another time out. Second half action coming your way for the TBL. Personalized blood flow restriction is the latest in rehab technology available at Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Center. A specialized tourniquet is applied to an injured limb to temporarily reduce the amount of blood in the exercising limb. This allows a patient the ability to lift very light weights and still see similar results as lifting heavy. Positive results from BFR have occurred in case tendon repairs, fractures, rotator cuff repairs, nerve injuries, and more. Ask about it at Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Center in Manhattan. Feed your livestock's potential with quality feed from Palmer Grain. They offer bag feed, manufactured feeds, or they can custom grind and mix feed, plus bulk feed delivery service is available. Palmer Grain can also help you in your fields with ag chemicals, fertilizer, and custom application. Stop by and learn about the multi-product prescription dry fertilizer application they have just added to their lineup. Call Palmer Grain at 1-800-441-9311 or check them out on Facebook. Miss Marie's Diner invites you to enjoy homestyle cooking in either of their restaurant locations in Clifton or in Clay Center. They're open seven days a week in Clifton, so stop in for breakfast or lunch. Then in Clay Center, they're open Monday through Saturday for lunch and supper. Both restaurants feature delicious specials along with a good variety of choices on the menu. To keep in touch and learn more about the daily specials at Miss Marie's Diner, check out their Facebook page. Then accept the invitation to Miss Marie's Diner. Barnes Automotive is the area's trusted diesel engine repair shop. Their team of qualified technicians have the knowledge and skill to get your diesel ag equipment, commercial trucks, industrial, and personal vehicles back in top performance. With a diesel mechanic specialist in your corner, you know you came to the right place for your diesel repair needs. And if you need tires, they have them too. For great customer service, partnered with exceptional quality diesel work called Barnes Automotive of Clifton and Vining at 455-3748. Back once again, we bring you to Onega High School, side of the 2018 Twin Valley League Championships here on KCOY. The broadcast of the Twin Valley League Championships are being brought to you by Winkland Oil Company, Play Center Business Association, DNK Agri-Sales, Alexander Pump and Services Incorporated of St. Mary's, Kramer Oil. TVL day one, we have Axel leading by 11 in the South Gym over Washington County. And here in the North Gym, we have the Clifton Clyde Lady Eagles, an 11-point lead, 19-8 to over Onega. Almost uh, identical uh, times for both uh, gyms right now, just about ready to start the second half. And Clifton Clyde will have the basketball to begin the second half for the Lady Eagles here in the TVL opening round. Winner of this one will get the winner of Valley Heights and Lynn. Those two teams play this afternoon at 1 o'clock. Emily Kaufman has it left wing, out top to Peyton Gerard. Starts right, stops down to the lane. Kaufman, good drive. She's bumped to the ground, and it's a foul called against Omega. Rebecca Crone, or correction, Laura Crone, called for the foul. First whistle of the second half, 19-8, Clifton Clyde by 11. Eagles will inbound. Adria Gerard, four points in the first half, brings it into J.C. Bowser, who led the Lady Eagles with six. Out top, Kaufman, and we've got an offensive foul. Correction, we're going to wave this off. Call this the other way. Let's see what we got here. It is on Onega. The official whistled and pointed the other direction, and then he corrected himself quickly and said, it's on Onega, so he stops and gives Clifton Clyde the basketball back underneath their own rim. 19-8, Clifton Clyde the lead by 11. Mallory Callahan goes right wing and deep and gives it to Peyton Gerard. Two posts, high is Callahan, low is Coffin. They get it to Coffin, back to the bucket, turns, squares, goes strong through contact, no foul call, and the rebound then tipped around and picked up by Onega. 19-8, Onega back with the basketball, with the and pressuring in the backcourt. Across it comes now to Fisher. Fisher stops outside the arc, right side. High post, aims at the free throw line. Kicks it out, jumper from Van Dong is good. She didn't even look at a shot in the first half and gets her first field goal of the game for Onega. And cuts the lead down to nine, 19 10. One minute into this third period. Kaufman with it. Out deep to Gerard. Around right it goes. Ball fake. Adria Gerard. Kick out to Peyton at the elbow left. Now back to Adria. Right elbow. Jumper up and short. Rebound. Callahan can't save it in bounds. Made a good effort at it. The freshman uh, stepped out of bounds as she reached up to save it back in. 
in Axtell, Washington County. We'll keep you posted on that one. It was an 11-point game at halftime. Flip Cash for calling that one. Here's Fisher. Off it comes to Van Dong and up to Florida Ames. Still in the backcourt. Got a Fisher right at the timeline. Breaks that time count. Flip and Clyde did force one 10-second violation in the first half. They neared two or three more. Crazy shot in the middle. Won't go for Onega. Rebound, though, tracked down by Fisher. Now to Ames. Dribble drive. Kick to the right side, Van Dong. And she travels. Now a three-second violation called against Onega. 19-10. Clifton Clyde the lead by nine. And the basketball back in their possession. It will be J.C. Bowser who brings it across for the Lady Eagles. Kick to the right baseline. Kaufman. Trouble handling. Now gets it under control. Back outside to Peyton Gerard. Around to Adria Gerard. Right baseline. Pass inside Kaufman. Now the ball loose. Kaufman keeps it alive. And then we end up with a foul called against Belinda Ames. That's going to be her third. Ball got loose. Kaufman was able to gather it in. She couldn't go anywhere with it. But then Ames jumped in on top of the play and was called for the foul. It's going to be her third. Lob in to Kaufman out top. Back in the baseline. Adria Gerard for two and down. She has six now. And it is a... 21-10 lead for the Lady Eagles. Six minutes remains in the third quarter of play. Pressure in the backcourt. Ames picked up her third foul with the basketball. Still in the backcourt. They're nearing a 10-second call again. Still in the backcourt, and now they get it across just in the nick of time. Van Dong in the lane. Crone takes it up. It's strong. Weak side rebound. Battle four. Foul called on the board, and it goes against Clifton Clyde. 21 to 10. Clifton Clyde, the lead by 11. And they called this on the shot, so two free throws coming for Katie Piggy. She was over two at the stripe first half. First free throw here is on its way in strong. Julia Douglas back on for the Lady Eagles. Out will be Mallory Callahan. So Douglas, Peyton Gerard, Emily Kaufman, Adria Gerard, and JC Bowser on the floor for Clifton Clyde. Second free throw on its way. This one rattles off the back iron. No good. Rebound comes down to Kaufman battling inside. We had a foul call, but instead of lane violation against Clifton Clyde, they say, before the free throw was shot. Second free throw. Actually, his third free throw. This one still rims out. Rebound tipped around, picked up by Adria Gerard. Clifton Clyde leads by 11. They have possession back. In the corner right, it goes to Bowser. Free throw line. Peyton Gerard, J.C. Bowser, two-pointer, a long two, no. Rebound weak side comes away to Crone. Clifton Clyde pressures off the missed shot and rebound defensively to Onega. Now Belinda Ames travels with the basketball. That turnover forced by Bowser, who got her in a hurry again to get across the timeline and then took steps. 5-18 remains third period. Clifton Clyde's basketball. Bowser into the front court. Right baseline, it goes to Adria Gerard. Open beyond the arc, doesn't want to look. Around left to Douglas. Corner left, Bowser. J.C. back out top. Peyton Gerard has it at the point. Right side wing, it goes to Douglas. Gerard around left to Bowser. Now to Adria Gerard. Skip to the baseline right, Douglas. Lobs it down low for Kaufman. Back to the bucket. Good spin move inside, and she'll draw the foul and get to the strike. Emily Coffin will be at the line. She has three points in the game. 21 to 10 here, 451 to work third quarter. Phil, if you're available to check in with us, let's get an update on that Axel Washington County game. Well, we didn't have our first points in this third quarter until three minutes in, and now both teams are kind of on a shooting spree. 42 32, another three from Axel. Won't fall, but Washington County's got it back to 10. 42 32, Axel lead. 408 left in the third. All right, we well, appreciate it. Emily Kaufman here knocks down one of two free throws. She has four points, and the lead is 13. Correction, she made both. She has five points now, and Clifton Clyde leads it by 13. So Washington County keeping it interesting against Axel right now, and that game heating up just a little bit in the third quarter. Now a jump ball is Bowser again. We say that name often on the defensive end for Clifton Clyde ties it up. They're almost to the midway point in that uh, ball game over in the south, Jim. Axel leading by 10 over Washington County will continue to keep the post. It is Onega's possession on the baseline. As it was tied up, the alternate arrow gives it to the Buffaloes down low. Looking inside the lane, they find Crone open, and she gets one to roll up over the rim, and in. she's got four. That's Laura Crone, the 5 sophomore. 
23-12. Clifton Clyde by 11. Ford has to work third quarter. Left wing, ball fake. Gerard, Adria Gerard pulls the trigger. No, there's Kaufman again inside, and she's fouled again and headed back to the stripe. The senior has been a monster on the boards since the really second quarter on. It seemed to be when she just got after everything on the board. 23-12. Foul was called against Laura Crone, her second. Free throw line, Kaufman rattles in the first. She now has six points in the game. Four for five at the free throw line for the contest. Three of three here in this third period. 4.27 remains third quarter. Kaufman misses on the second free throw. Then a foul is going to be called on Clifton Clyde. They get uh, Peyton Gerard. No, Adrian Gerard calls the foul, they say. That is her third. Just two team fouls in the third quarter against Clifton Clyde, but the third in the game against Adria Gerard. 24-12 here. Pass in the backcourt. Pressure by Clifton Clyde. Belinda James brings it across with a dribble. Out of the lane. Jump pass down low. Good look inside for two. No. Rebound. Callahan tips it. Gerard has it. And a foul called against Crone of Onega. And it will be Clifton Clyde's basketball. That's already the 16th foul on the Buffalo. So Clifton Clyde will be in the bonus from here on out. There's still 4.17 to go in the third period. But the Lady Eagles up by 12. It will be inbounded by Peyton Gerard, and J.C. Bowser brings it across and looks at that 2-3 zone of Onega. Right deep, it comes to Coffin beyond the arc, back outside Douglas. Julia holds there, now right side on the wing. Dribble drive, Peyton Gerard, ball stripped away and taken now by Onega. Fisher has it. Off to James. 24-12. Clifton Clyde, the lead by a dozen. Tip pass by Douglas. Half-court ball loose. Now Bowser nearly has it, and they end up forcing the travel on Belinda James of Omega. Clifton Clyde will get it back with a lead of 12. Douglas, Bowser both teaming up to force that turnover. From the sideline, it will be Peyton Gerard to inbound it. 24-12 ball game. Lady Eagles the lead. Kaufman dribble drives. Stops, gets it to the free throw line. Callahan, two-pointer, strong, long rebound, tipped around, and it's Bowser who has it. To Douglas, right wing, back to Bowser at the point. 3.35 left to work. We're in the third period. It's looking five by 12. Coffin has it right wing, ball fake and drives all over the glass, laying up and good. Coffin now with seven points in the contest. Friction eight now for Coffin. And it's a 14-point lead, the largest advantage for Clifton Clyde in the game to this point. 3.19 to work third quarter. It is Van Dong in the backcourt, one that aims. Now weaves her way to the paint, all the way to the lane, a blocking foul against Callahan. That's Mallory Callahan called for the block, and it will be to the free throw stride for Omega. 26-12 with 3-10 to work third quarter. The foul on Callahan, her second. It will be James or Ames at the line to shoot two. 0 for 2 at the stride, first half. Gets this one to fall in. She has three points in the game. And it's Clifton Clyde by 13. Clifton, well, we've got a short time to check in on the score. Update us on Axel in Washington County. Well, Washington County has really made this interesting. Axel shooting free throws right now, but with two minutes left in the third, Washington had cut it to a five-point game. It's now back to six. Axel up 46-40. All right, good one going on there. Here, Clifton Clyde leads by 13, 304 to work. Right side wing, Adria Gerard steps in, doesn't take the shot, kicks it off to Kaufman. Coffin, bounce pass in low for Callahan, got through her hands and picked up then by Chloe Fisher of Omega. As the Buffaloes bring it to the direction, 26-13. Ames caught in a double team and a bump called late against Kaufman. It'll be her third. That'll give Omega the basketball on the baseline. Macy Callahan back on for the Lady Eagles. Kaufman with the third foul will come out. 248 left third quarter. Opening games of the Twin Valley League Championships here on KCOY. There's a bounce pass in the lane. Shot taken up. Not good, but a foul is going to be called against Clifton Clyde. They call this on Mallory Callahan. Now her third foul. The 247 work. That's the fifth team foul. So both teams nearing being in the bonus as Onega steps to the stripe. First free throw is strong. Rebecca Crone, first free throw opportunity today. 0 for 1 has another one coming. Second charity from the Buffaloes is going to rattle off. Long rebound, tracked down by Julia Douglas. Douglas will bring it herself. 
Right through freshman gives it off now to Adria Gerard. Right side wing, Bowser. Out top, Douglas deep beyond the arc. Left on the wing, Gerard. Zone defense by Omega. They've been in a 2-3 all through the game. Here's Callahan in the paint outside the Bowser. Left baseline, Gerard for two. Short rebound, Callahan back up and good. Mallory Callahan, the stick-back boost, makes it a 28-13 ball game. The lead is 15 now for the Lady Eagles, 2-14 to work third quarter. Pressure in the backcourt. Nearing that 10 count again. Melinda Ames breaks the count as she brings it across with the dribble. In the front court, left wing, Fisher for two. Strong. Weak side board. It's Bowser who comes out of the pack with it in a crack. Well, gets by. Toward the lane, all the way to the paint. Off glass and good. Tough shot by J.C. Bowser who has eight. And now it is a 17-point lead by Clifton Clyde. And a timeout taken by the Eagle. 30-13. to 13. Lady Eagles lead it. Let's send it over to Flip Casper in the South Gym. All right, Rock, 58 seconds left here in the third. Washington County has cut us to five. Axel took it back to 11. Now we're back to nine. 50-41. Axel leading Washington County. Axel with the basketball. All right, Flip, thanks. Let's go ahead and get a 30-second timeout. A minute 49 left. Third quarter here. Clifton Clyde now leads by 17. Show your Clifton Clyde school spirit with Caw Valley State Bank and their new spirit debit card. Visit any KVSB branch to open an account or upgrade your existing debit card. Spirit debit cards can be used anywhere Visa debit chip cards are accepted and work just like a check. There's no minimum balance and no monthly service fee. Plus, mobile banking, mobile deposit, online banking, online bill pay, and e-statements are all free. Caw Valley State Bank is here for you with more than 100 years of trusted service. 30 to 13 here. The Clifton Clyde Lady Eagles starting to impose their will with that full court pressure and getting some buckets off of it now. They lead by 17 points. A minute 49 to work in the third quarter. Clifton Clyde trying to get to 8 and 3 on the season. Omega 0 and 8 coming into this matchup. It will be Van Dong with the basketball for the Buffaloes. A minute 49 remains third period. Again, Clifton Clyde by 17. The full court pressure again being applied by the Lady Eagles. Now it's Van Dong across the timeline. Douglas bats it away and does not get out of bounds. It does stay on the sideline with Onega. Buffaloes out deep to Ames. Just inside the top of the key. Backs it out beyond the arc. Now right to Van Dong. Baseline right. Two-pointer up and going through for Katie Biggie. Her first bucket of the game. First points of the game as well. Right side wing with it is Adria Gerard. 15 point Clifton Clyde advantage. A minute 15 to work here in the third. Three pointer Gerard just running off. A foul called down inside. And they call this on Clifton Clyde looking for an offensive rebound in low. So a 15 point lead stays for the Lady Eagles. Emily Coffin with three fouls does come back on the floor. The foul is called on Mallory Callahan, her fourth. So she has to come out. Coffin back in. Full court pressure by Clifton Clyde. Van Dong, right sideline. Belinda Ames back to Van Dong. A minute eight to work, third period. 30 to 15. Clifton Clyde has doubled up the score on Omega. And again, the 10 second violation getting close, and Omega takes the timeout. 30 to 15. Clifton Clyde, a minute two to work, third quarter. Let's send it back again to Bill Cash. All right, Rock, fourth quarter just underway here. 50 41. Axel with the lead. Axel with the basketball. It seemed like every time Washington County could get themselves back in it, Axel would answer with a three ball. Now a missed shot in the lane by Axel. That's going to be a turnover back to Washington County. 50-41, fourth quarter just underway. All right, Flip, we appreciate it here. It's 30-15. to Clifton Clyde the lead. Still a minute two to go in the third period in this one. Of course, boys' matchups will be on the way next after these opening girls. Uh, basketball games, the 11:30 tip-offs feature Axel and Blue Valley, and the other matchup will be in this game at Centralia Troy. So we'll have a chance to cover uh, the Axel Blue Valley boys game in its entirety. Here's a blocking foul as Onega set up a play from the sideline, and a blocking foul call against Adria Gerard, and that's going to be her fourth foul with a minute remaining in this third quarter. So this implies Mallory Callahan, Adria Gerard, both have four fouls against. And at the free throw stripe, Belinda Ames unable to connect on the first of two free throws. Second charity up, and this one 
rims in. Ames with four points now in the contest. Left side and deep. Douglas to Gerard. Adria or Peyton Gerard to Adria Gerard. Adria staying in with the four fouls. Here Bowser in low to Kaufman underneath the basket. Wrap around pass to Gerard. Gets it to go home. Adria Gerard now with eight in the ball game. And Clifton Clyde leads it by 16. 35 to work third quarter. Fisher caught in the backcourt deep, near still by Douglas. It'll stay with Onega, but again, Clifton Clyde, the pressure giving all kinds of problems to Onega. 32-16. And we have a foul called in the backcourt against Clifton Clyde. And this is on Adrian Gerard. It's her fourth now. I had her before a moment ago, so... Take a sigh of relief that she doesn't have to leave the game with 29 seconds to work here in the third. Clifton Clyde leading 32-16. But now we do have four fouls on both Mallory Callahan and Adria Girard. One and one chance for Belinda Ames. First free throw rattles off. Rebound. Callahan has it inside. Outlet pass right sideline to J.T. Bowser. Bowser right side wing with it. 23 to work. A 16-point Lady Eagle lead. Douglas left side wing. Hit a three in the first half thought about it, but then backs it outside to Gerard. Right baseline, it goes in the corner to Bowser. He brings it back out with a dribble. Ten seconds left to work. Third period. It's Clifton Clyde, 32-16 to 16 over Onega. Drive by Peyton Gerard. Five seconds left. Now to the post. Kick out. Douglas for three. Well, Canada goes, and she fakes it in at the buzzer, and it will put Clifton Clyde at 35-16 to 16 as we head into final period of play here in this North Jam. Let's take a break, then we'll check in with Bill Casper right after this. Wanklin Oil is proud to serve the community with propane, gas, and diesel fuel right to your home or farm. Family owned and operated, they'll deliver your fuel with an old-fashioned personal touch. Their dependable quality service at the lowest price available makes them a leader in their field. In addition to propane and diesel, they also offer tank repair, sales, and service. For your fuel and heating needs, Wanklin Oil is just a call away. 800-794-2019. Serving you for 90 years, they have the energy. Second three-point of the game for Julia Douglas at the buzzer banks in, and it's 35-16, Clifton Clyde leading. Let's send it over and get a check-in with Luke Casper. All right, Rock, 520 left here in the fourth. Holly Delay just hit one of two free throws, and now, just like that, Axel's done it the whole game. Washington County had cut it to seven, and then a three-bomb from Olivia Cuckelman. That is her second three of the game, back to ten. 55-45, Washington County trails Axel. Five minutes left in the game. All right, Flip, we appreciate it. We'll get you back over there with that finish, especially if it tightens up as it has several times for Washington County. And as mentioned, though, it has been Axel able to answer every trip. 35-16, Clifton Clyde has the basketball and the lead as we start this fourth quarter. They're up by 19 now. Here's Kaufman to Adria Gerard playing with four fouls. They cut inside. Kaufman, good looking to paint. Can't get it down. A lot of bump. No foul. And now a foul will be called on the rebound. Kaufman hauls it in. It'll be the 17th foul called against Onega. So a bonus situation here for the senior, Emily Kaufman, who has eight points in the game. So a one and one chance. Laura Crone picks up her fourth foul on the struggle for the rebound. 35-16. Kaufman's free throw, up and good. She has nine. And the lead goes to 20, the biggest advantage in the game thus far. Kaufman, second free throw, short. Rebound tipped, but pulled away by Belinda Ames. Douglas, good defense at half court stripe, nearly came up with it. Like it might have been off of Onega after the tip, but it's off of Douglas who knocked it out of bounds. 36-16. From the sideline, Van Dong brings it in. Baseline left, Ames, and lost it for a moment. Now the battle for the ball on the sideline, picked up by Van Dong. Douglas nearly got another pick away. Now she's made Van Dong pick up her dribble. Gets it away now to Biggie. And the ball loose for a moment. Crone has it. Drives toward the lane. Now Bowser with a steal. A race to the other end. Bowser to the lane. Lay in good, but they're going to call a travel before the shot. 
she gathered herself really nicely, but took a little shuffle before she was able to take it up off the glass. She made the shot, but called for steps beforehand. 20-point lead here for Clifton Clyde. Onega with the basketball. Up the floor it comes to Fisher. Fisher against Bowser. A blocking foul is called as the bump between the two. Bowser on defense. Fisher will have a one-in-one chance. Always Fisher at the strike. Two and two at the line. Four points in the game. Just underway here in the fourth quarter. First free throw up and good. While we've got a second free throw coming, Flip, again, get us an update on Axel Washington County. Well, here we go again. 4.05 left in this ball game, and Washington County has cut it to five. It's 55-50. They just got a steal. And now a shot on the other end by Grace Otot will not fall out of bounds back to Washington County. 3.59 left in the ballgame, 55-50. Axel leads Washington County. Thanks, Flip. One of two at the stripe here for Fisher. She has five points in the game. It's 36-17. Clifton Clyde leading by 19. Now full court pressure put on by Onega. Up the court, it comes to Bowser. Toward the block, bumped hard, gets the shot up off the rim. It will not fall, but it will be two free throws for J.C. Bowser. She has eight points in the game, had six first half points. The second half for Clifton Clyde really belonging to Emily Kaufman, who now has nine points in the game, six of those in the second half. Bowser at the stripe. Gets the first one to roll in there. Good soft touch on the free throw from the 5-5 sophomore. She has nine points. 20 point, Lady Eagle lead. Peyton Gerard back in for Clifton Clyde. Macy Callahan comes off. Bowser at the stride. Made the first. Second one comes up short. Rebound away to Crone. 7 4 to work in the ball game. 37-17. It's Clifton Clyde the lead by 20. Now the drive inside. Van Dong with a wide open lay-in. Breakdown on defense. Four points for Van Dong. 37-19. 650 remains here in this fourth quarter. Clifton Clyde back with the basketball and the 18-point advantage. Here's Gerard. Right side he goes. Back out deep with it is J.C. Bowser. Left baseline, it goes to Kaufman. Kaufman looks for a cutter. Adrian Gerard now a crossover move, gets inside the lane, takes it strong. It's long on the shot, though, and a rebound weak side comes away to Figgy. In the backcourt, good pressure by Douglas. Now Ames brings it across. Free throw line, jump pass to the corner, thrown away. And it goes back to Clifton Clyde, 37-19. Flip, let's check in again. I know that game was tightening up. Has Washington County gotten any closer? No, it's still pretty tight. Washington County's had a couple of good looks, but they just couldn't cut into that lead. And then one of two at the strike for Axel. It's 56-50, three and a half minutes left in the game. 6-14 remaining here. Clifton Clyde by 18. We get down into the last couple of minutes. We'll get it over to Phil and let him finish that game as we're they're a little bit ahead of us here. 37-19, good drive by Bowser, can't get it down, rebound weak side to Fisher. Now Bowser ties it up, the jump ball arrow is going to go to Clifton Clyde on the baseline. 37-19, with just under stone correction, Onega has the basketball. Length of the floor to go, full court pressure here by Clifton Clyde, Fisher in the backcourt. Pressured by Bowser, gets it across the timeline, now Hoffman comes up, a double team on her. She gets it her way to Van Dong. She'll turn, ball loose. Ames comes up with it, flies in the paint, and a foul called against Clifton Clyde. And free throws coming for Onega. 5.45 remaining in this ball game. 37-19. 5.45 remaining at the line. Ames, first free throw is up and rattling in. Belinda Ames now has five points. Clifton Clyde lead is 17. Ames, one more free throw. And this one misses. Rebound off to Kaufman. Kaufman brings it up herself. Guarded by Ames right on the sideline. Now backs it out with a dribble. 5.33 to work. We're in the four. 37-20. Clifton Clyde by 17. Bowser has it right and deep. Lob to the paint. Peyton Gerard back to the bucket. Gives it off to Kaufman. She'll step in strong to the glass. No. Rebound Fisher. Weak side. And now we've got a Jump ball arrow that this time does belong to the Eagles. 37-20, 5-23 remaining. From the baseline, it will be Gerard lobbing it in to Kaufman. Back in the corner, Adrian Gerard, ball fake, steps in, shot just strong with the back iron. Rebound away to 
Onega. Here's Belinda Ames at the right sideline. 5-12 to work, 37-20 ball game. Drive by Ames to the inside the uh, free throw stripe in the paint. Kick out now to Crone. She has Kaufman all over in trouble. Get through of it now to Ames. Five minutes remaining. Flip and Clyde by 17. The defense man-to-man this trip by the Lady Eagles have not allowed anything inside the paint. Here's Fisher. Off now right side wing. Ball fake. Van Dong. Guarded by Douglas. Ames. Guarded jumper right elbow. And they will bail out call to give her a chance back at the free throw stripe. Let's check back in again with Bill Casper and Axel in Washington County. Well, there's 205 left in the ball game. Axel is going to have the basketball after a timeout. The Washington County is set to a two-point game. 205 left in the game. 56-54. Axel leads. They have possession. Flip will get this uh, next possession, and we'll send it back over since it's tightened up in, the, in that one. And get you uh, look at the finish on that ball game. We're, you're ahead of us here anyway. Free throw from Belinda Ames misses. 37-20. Cooks and Clyde with the lead of 17 and still 445 remaining. Ames second free throw is short. Rebound, no to Odega. Shot blocked by Kaufman. Lady Eagles back with the basketball. Two-point game over in the South Gym. They're under two minutes. There's a fire down court to Peyton Gerard. Lay in strong. Rebound. Kaufman back up and good. Kaufman in double digits and the lead is 19. Flip, let's send it over to you. You've got a good one going down the stretch. Hi, Rock. Thanks. Two points now for Axel. That is from uh, Kinsey Feldkamp and a big two. And now a three ball to answer on the other end from Holly DeLay. Her third three is 58-57. Axel with the lead. They have the ball. There's a minute 19. And now a steal by Washington County. That's Andrea Bruna having a great game for the Lady Tigers. It gets tied up. Now possession will go on that jump ball call. To Axel. So, minute 16, Axel will end up with the basketball. Marina Busing to inbounds under her own basket. Nearly has it taken away. It does. And another jump ball, and that is Andrea Bruna again. So, possession back to Washington County. So, minute 15, it is 58-57. Keep in mind, they were down 22-8 to at the end of the first, 37-26 at the half. 58-57. Lauren Wyatt has it. Inside, she goes to Chetterly. Shot up, won't go. Rebound to Axel, but it'll go out of bounds. They're going to give that ball to Washington County, and I think they signaled the wrong way, and they did. Well, that far side official was signaling Washington County basketball. It was obvious possession to Axel, so Axel will get it back a minute one. They get it inbound. That's abusing the inbounds, and now a foul is going to be called on Washington County, and that is really not a foul that you want. It's Tess Ketcherly, just a little too much contact, trying to get that ball back, and she knew it immediately. So that's going to be a one-on-one now for Marina Busing for Axel. Busing's first free throw, she hits it. She has two threes in the game, and now one at the stripe, lead back to two. One more free throw from Busing, and that one's good. So Axel has taken it back to a three-point lead. 60-57, Washington County with the ball. Man-to-man defense from Axel. Down court to delay on the right wing, back inside to Busing. On the elbow, she'll go back up top to Chetcherly. Now three from Chetcherly, that's not a great shot. But now a rebound underneath off the miss. For Washington County, that's Lauren Wyatt with the rebound and footback, and we're back to a one-point game. 60-59, to there is a timeout on the floor. It's a full timeout, 40 seconds left, 60-59, Axel leads by one. Let's check back in with Rocky Downing. Yeah, you bet, Flip. It's Clifton Clyde now a 22-point lead as they just got a bucket in from Mallory Callahan. Uh, Emily Kaufman out of 13 points in the game has had a really big second half, and again, Clifton Clyde leads by 22. There's 2.22 left in this ball game. All right, thanks, Rock. Here, 40 seconds left in the fourth quarter, 60-59. Axel with the one-point lead. It was a 4-4 game very early in this game, and then Axel went on a 16-0 run in the first quarter. They uh, ended up that first quarter leading by 14-22-8. They led by 11 at half, and Washington County has scrapped their way back into this. And it is a one-point game. So 60-59, Washington County 
trails Axel by one. Axel has possession. They will have it down on the far end of the court. It'll be a full court press on from Washington County, busing to inbounds for Axel when nearly lost that ball out of bounds. Now running the baseline, trying to get it in. She's in trouble, throws one up. That's going to be taken away by Washington County, but then off the knee of Tess Ketcherly. She just could never get a good grip on that basketball, lost it out of bounds, so Axel's going to have another opportunity. This time they inbound in front of their own bench. They do get it in with 36. Now driving is Kinsey Feldkamp, and we're trying to drive that baseline, and Coach Stevie's screaming for her to get it back out top, but it goes out of bounds to Axel. Now inbounds, they get it into Cuckelman. She'll immediately go back up to the point. Now Grace Otot is going to have to foul, and she does, and I think that's Otot's fifth. So, nope, that's her fourth. So Otot's foul is going to send Olivia Cuckelman to the line, shooting one and one. Cuckelman's first free throw is good. 5'9", sophomore, has eight points. And she'll have one more. She can get this to a three-point game. Free throw up and rattles in. 62-59. Here comes Washington County with 30 seconds left. And now Coach Abby Stevie wants the timeout. She's going to take a 30-second timeout. So with 28 seconds left, 62-59. Axel with the lead over Washington County. Washington County will have possession. Let's send you back over and check in with Rocky Downing. You bet, Flip, 49-23 here, a minute three left in the game. Flips and Clyde will have the basketball. They've really uh, been able to get out and run and, and convert uh, the biggest part of that. 13 apiece now from J.C. Bowser and Emily Coffin. 49-23, Flips and Clyde by 26, a minute three left in this fourth quarter. All right, Rock, thanks. Here with 28 seconds left, 62-59, Axel with the lead. Washington County has the basketball. They have a chance to tie and, wow, now the clock has gone crazy. 28 seconds, I think, is where it should be. They put 30 minutes on the clock now. And, oh, they did reset the clock. 30.2 seconds is what they'll put on. So, Grace Otot will inbound. She'll run the baseline, gets it into Chetcherly. Chetcherly back to Otot. Otot across the timeline at the point. Picks up her dribble, needs help, now gets it. Right wing, three ball from Ketcherly. No, won't go. Rebound fought for. Washington County comes out of there with it. Now Grace Otot's going to be fouled. And she'll head to the line shooting one and one. So a good look from Ketcherly, but just off the mark. A really good shot. Grace Otot on that rebound is going to shoot one and one. So 17 seconds left. It's a three-point game. Otot's first free throw is good. Otot now with 16 points. So try to cut this to a one-point game again. 62-60, now 62-61. Busing running the baseline, trying to get it in. She's got to get it in, and now steal from Chetcherly. Now has it knocked away, winds up in the hand. Back to Chetcherly. Otot on the wing with 10, driving with 8. Top of the key, Chetcherly 3, no off the mark. Rebound to Axel Boy, she had another look at it, and she is just off the mark. And now I think Grace Otot is going to get called on that foul. So we're going to head to the other end with four. Boy, Washington County, a chance to win this game, but a foul. And that foul is going to be called on Holly DeLay, and that will send Olivia Cuckelman to the line shooting one and one. So Cuckelman hit her last two, and none would be bigger than these two. First free throw from Cuckelman misses, and with three seconds left, down court it goes to Otot, and she just can't get the ball on the pass from Ketcherly, and this game is going to go final. Boy, Washington County, you got to give them credit. They fought their way back into this, and they end up falling to Axel 62-61. to Let's check back in with Rocky Downing, get you a finish of the Clifford Clyde Eagles. 
Yeah, yeah. Flip. Just a few minutes ago, they were able to just wind the clock down and then let it go out. They win by 22 in this ball game. So the Lady Eagles advance to the quarterfinals. They're eight and three now on the season. Onega drops to 0 and nine. Kind of kept it close for a while, and the 55 pressure just got to them. I know you had a barn burner over there in your matchup, Flip. Uh, we'll take a timeout and come back. We'll kind of give you scoring leaders from both games. Axel holding on the win, Clifton Clyde dominant in their win. So both Eagles teams getting victories. Washington County certainly a great push in that ball game as well. Let's get you a timeout. We'll be back in just a moment. Through product knowledge and prop friendly customer service, Alexander Pump and Service of St. Mary's will surpass all your expectations. They offer a variety of services ranging from pump installation, water well rehabilitation, plus irrigation pump and drilling needs. You can count on them to repair and maintain your irrigation pumps and units. Alexander Pump and Service is family owned and operated, and they're looking forward to earning your business. Call 785 437 6305 for service in the KCLY listening area. There's oil sales, and then there's the Kramer Oil Big Oil Sale. Now through February 28th, get in on the savings when you buy mobile products by the pails and drums. Mobile is what most people trust to use when it comes to their heavy machinery and equipment. The Kramer Oil Big Oil Sale includes mobile Delvac 15W40 and mobile Fluids 424 in pails and drums. Call Kramer Oil in Marysville for prices. Offer good while supplies last. Maintain your equipment and help prolong the life of your vehicles and machinery with Kramer Oil. If you're adding grain storage, you have a lot of options. You want the best value, but you also want the best built. It'd be nice to work with someone local, and you want a name brand that stands behind their product. Call the bin experts at D&K AgriSales, your Sucup dealer grain experts in Plymouth. Sucup bins are one of the best from their extra strong roofs right down to the highest grade bolts in the industry. Take advantage of winter discounts and get the best pricing of the year. Find out more about Sucup bins at dnkagrisales.com. The Clay Center Business Association welcomes you to enjoy the charming beauty of the downtown shops, the restaurants, and great local services available right in your backyard. Clay Center invites you to spend some time shopping and taking in the uniqueness of each store and be greeted by merchants who value your business and support. Whether you're here for a day, a weekend, or a lifetime, the small town atmosphere never goes out of style. Shop Clay Center. Back once again to the Twin Battle League Championships as the Clifton Clyde Lady Eagles posting win number one for their day and Axel winning over Washington County in a thriller right down to the wire. Uh, Clifton Clyde advancing to the quarterfinals as will Axel. Uh, Flip, do you want to give us a look at your scoring in your matchup? Yeah, we'll do that, Rock. We've got uh, Axel Washington County. That was a 22-8 Axel lead after the first 37-26 at half and then Washington County just scrapped their way back into this for Axel, they were led by Trisha Matthewson, but the biggest thing about her, she was dominant in that first half. She had 13 of her 17 in that first half. Washington County really able to shut her down in the second half. 12 for Hannah Schmidt, same thing. She had 11 of those 12 in the first half. 10 for Kinsey Feldkamp, 8 for uh, Marina Busing, and then uh, also 9 for Olivia Cuckelman, 6 for Emmy Dieters, and a point for Bree Porting. For Washington County, it was Grace Otot. She had a big game, 17 points, and then 12 apiece for Holly DeLay and Tess Chetcherly. 10 for Andrea Bruna, eight of those in the second half. She played very well in that second half for the Lady Tigers. Lauren Wyatt was six, and then four from Cameron Boykin. And Washington County Lady Tigers fall 62-61 to Axel. Axel will advance to uh, Monday night's game. That will be against number one seed Frankfurt. Washington County will now fall into the consolation bracket again, 62-61, your final Axel over Washington County. All right, Flip, thanks. Let's get another break in. Let's take a two-minute TVO timeout, and I'll come back and give you the scoring leaders or something fights win over Onega after this. If this season of life you find yourself with some mobility issues, then it's time to talk with the experienced staff at Patterson's Health Mart Pharmacy in Clay Center. They have a wide variety of durable medical equipment and supplies to make your day-to-day -day activities easier and safer. If you're diabetic, Patterson's has special shoes to help with circulation. Plus, they have walkers, crutches, wheelchairs, canes, bath rails, and portable oxygen supplies. Patterson's Health Mart is there to help you through each season of life. 
Take action now for a successful crop next year. At Wilbur Ellis and Reed Seed and Feed, we're ready to help you plan for next season's feed control, moisture conservation, and fertilizer needs. For your plan, we'll utilize soil testing and variable seeding rates to come up with site-specific fertilizer and seed systems. Now's a good time to establish your fertilizer and chemical program for productive crops in 2018. Wilbur Ellis and Reed Seed and Feed, we offer customized solutions for your crop drive. Intensive sampling, various soil mapping, and variable rate application of fertilizers can improve the efficiency of nutrient management. CS Precision Ag can assess nutrient availability of different areas within a field and recommend the right product to improve your bottom line. New customers for the fall are currently being accepted at CS Precision Ag. They serve producers throughout North Central Kansas and South Central Nebraska. Contact Clayton Bott or visit them online at CSPrecisionAg.com Every milk purchase you make at Ray's Apple Market gets you closer to a free gallon or half gallon of milk. And you could be eligible for a year's supply of free milk. Get your Milk Cow Club cards punched every time you buy milk. 12 punches makes the next milk purchase free. Here at Ray's, it is our passion to give you, our customer, a pleasant, time-saving shopping experience while providing exceptional products at value prices with uncommon customer service. Thank you from our family to yours. Shop small, shop local. Well, again, you heard the final on Axel with a win over Washington County in girls basketball here. The Clifton Clyde Lady Eagles winning over Onega was a 49-23 final. Lenega led by six points from Belinda Ames, five for Chloe Fisher, four each from Caitlin Van Dong, Laura Crone, and Katie Figgy, one point from Madison Busher. 13 each for Clifton Clyde from J.C. Bowser and Emily Kaufman. Bowser had six in the first half, seven in the second half. Kaufman, a huge second half, all or 10 of her 13 coming after the halftime break. They get eight apiece from Julia Douglas, including the game's only three-pointer. She had two of those. She had eight. Adria Gerard had eight as well. You also get four from Mallory Callahan, one from Macy Callahan, and two points from Peyton Gerard. Cook and Clyde moves to eight and three on the season. They'll advance in the quarterfinals and will play that quarterfinal game on Monday against either Valley Heights or Lynn. The Mustangs and Bulldogs will play this afternoon at 1 o'clock. Again, Cook and Clyde advances to the quarterfinals Monday at 3.15. 49-23, your final, the Lady Eagles with the win. We are at the break between the two games. Let's uh, get another time out. We'll give you a look at what's to come next and throughout the day and afternoon here on KCOI. Stay with us. TVL coverage on 100.9.